Today we're going to talk about 10 Hundred Season 2 Big Art Collab. And we're going to talk about an incident that, that came to light uh, involving one of the artists. For those of you who don't know, 10 Hundred started a big art collaboration about two years ago or so. Maybe a little bit longer. This collaboration was when he started a painting, he sent it to one artist to another. This continued until the art was completed and I believe it was auctioned off for, I believe, for charity. They made prints of it, etc. Stuff like that. It had a lot of bunch of artists like Slu, Jazza, Bobby Duke, and way much more. He has a whole playlist of that on his channel. But in this one, in this season two, the collaboration began, but they had he had one rule. And this was the rule. Now the other painting has one key difference, one different rule that may change the way this thing goes. And the rule is that each YouTuber can only select another YouTuber that has less subscribers than them. I think this will be a great way to discover some new YouTubers and give some exposure to some smaller creators. I mean, should we even call this YouTube's biggest art collab? Maybe this painting should be called YouTube's smallest art collab. However, one of the artist's recent behavior may have tainted the collaboration. And I hate to say that, but they have made copied a artist's work and they put it into the collaboration. So if you don't know, this is an opportunity. If you get this piece to collaborate, this is a big opportunity for you as an artist and as a YouTuber, and you want to go all in, do something new, get very creative and really push yourself to the limits. In my opinion, when we look through the evidence, I'm going to let you guys decide, but damn, he may have ruined it. I don't know if I'm going to say this right, but his name is Bone, Bone, Bone Art who is a French artist, made an art piece that wasn't entirely his own, only changing a very few things in the art piece. The reason I'm bringing this up is because a viewer of mine brought this up to my attention during a discussion about 10 Hundred, which led to me to investigate the situation, if it's true or not. Now, I'm not saying Bones, Bones, I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Even, even, I'm still trying to try to be respectful. I'm not saying that Bones is entirely guilty, I'm here to present the evidence and let you decide by, for yourself. I'll show you guys the similarities between the two pieces or side by side so that you can make up your own mind if he's guilty or not. Guilty. All right, guys, so we're going to break it down right here. So if Van Orso is on the left and Bone Art is on the right. Van Orso was created on 2016 and Bone Art, I believe, was created this year. And we're going to look into more on the social medias. Because, I because th again, this is a... A different like language barrier so i wasn't sure if this was the same artist or not because it could possibly happen i just had to make sure the first thing we, we went through is pretty much from thank you to my viewer statics the van orsa posted this right here called the chimera jackalope as you can see cool the art piece right here and then he, he puts the sketch of like the idea what he wanted to create and then from like you know a little example of him creating the mushroom and more idea of like, you know, him blending the colors. And he also put a time lapse, how he created the artwork right here. Now, it's all good, it looks really cool. I think it's one of the coolest designs I've seen in a while. And he made prints of them, all that kind of stuff. And then it says right here, it was published on April 20th, 2016. Now, Bone, bone Art, uh, I'm so sorry for saying it wrong again. I looked through everything, everything that I can um, from like any of the social media he had, but the only thing I could find, he has Instagram and YouTube. He does say he has a Twitch account. I couldn't find it. I looked for it. I just couldn't find it even by the name that he posts. I, I'm not sure. I, I just don't know. I just don't know where it is. But anyways, so looking through his Instagram, which is, this is not 100% concrete evidence, but it's a big one. Because when you look through his artwork, it doesn't seem he has he has the same uh, different st uh, style of the artwork that he put in canvas. It's a complete different one. I'm not sure if this is his artwork or he got inspired or I don't know something I can't really say what since it's a language barrier. But again, all the artwork that he posted, it has the only thing that I could find similarity is pretty much I think this right here, but it doesn't really help, especially the way he like designed it and the shading and all that kind of stuff. So I just went through like I said, I want to make sure before I call, uh, I guess, an artist out or make an accusation, I want to make sure that, like, you know, I have, I check every single thing that I could find. So, yeah, I checked this. I checked his YouTube channel, too, as well. So, here it is, his YouTube channel. 
I checked everything. I looked through like, you know, like the thumbnails, you know, like the fast forward things. I don't have to watch the whole video because, you know, that'll be a long time. But I, had, I still had to check, you know, just in case on some of these videos. Not all, but it's just some. So I looked through. I like waited on the thumbnail like this. Make sure it's like this is something that he did drew. Um, but the reason why I didn't really fully check the video is I always check what is the oldest video. And that was four years ago. That was in 2019 was his first video and throughout all of this i did not see any similar artwork of what he posted on the big art collab so that is a big uh-oh now with these two as you can see they're very very similar with some changes but as you can see all right back to the side by side so as you can see there were some few changes the mushroom and uh this coffee cup was changed it was changed this part right here, it's like I'm playing this game now. <laughs> How many changes can you see in this image? Pause this video and see all the different changes, guys. Go, go, go. All right, we're back. Uh, all right, so this changes right here. Um, as you can see, they added like a cloud thing to as well, like kind of like blasting off the rocket. That's a pretty good, cool idea, but you know, so there are some differences, right? But the biggest thing is this eyeball or the pretty much the same the way he did it especially with like the eyebrow ish kind of thing the thickness of it uh also uh the nose as well the tooth was different right the tooth was a little bit different but it's pretty much similar it just had this hole in the middle um and this one had the axe right here right it had the axe and then this one they put like sort of like a uh, croissant a croissant but this right here where like he, he uses the ink it's the same it's pretty much the same thing um and he also did put the arrow as well that's the same thing um he did put clouds in the background but i just want to showcase like this is not an original idea and which is fine you know we all guys we all get inspirations which is like all good and stuff but here's where it gets more problem it's way too similar um yes he added some new stuff but when you look closely through the details look at the ear details like right here it's like the biggest obvious one they're pretty much almost in the same spot when you see the shading let me hide all of this when you see the shading as you can see like the shading right here and like the little dots he made like the little highlights they're pretty much the same thing on his art piece like I said, there's some changes, of course, to the design, but similar. So like the three heads right here as well. And the shading, the way he shaded it is pretty much very, very similar. So I just, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to seem like the bad guy, but I, when this was brought into my attention, I really, really had to look into it, every single thing, social media, between the two artists, if this is true or anything like that yeah it's pretty sad honestly i want to bring awareness to the fact that when choosing the the next artist maybe whoever the art, art you're gonna choose maybe vent them a little bit but then again it, it's impossible because you don't know what they're gonna create within that art piece because you're a fan of the other or other work but you never know what they're gonna create after that so it's not the artist's fault it's the artist who copied and put it as sort of their own because i looked through the video i looked through the whole video that he did and he didn't say anything about the original artist's name or brought him up or give him a shout out or anything like that of like where he got inspiration or anything like that it was just all like okay i've been like honored to do this big art collab um i had to take it apart you know my idea stuff like that which okay so right here he had like it was an original sketch idea but get look at it look at the original sketch it's very similar to the guys in behance's van torso's sketch idea like you know like when he made his sketch now like like i said i tried to look through everything if you say like oh this was inspired by this artist but even if he was inspired by this artist and does give him a shout out I still feel like it's a big miss. He should have gone more original and give it his all and be more original and put himself out there. Take this opportunity that a lot of our, us artists would kill to have and really try something new. Like I said, this art collab is a big opportunity 
that many of us only could dream of. It's a shame that one of the artists didn't give it their all, instead too lazy, uh, took the lazy way out uh, by coming someone else's work and design and character. This is not Ten Hundred's fault. This is not the artist who did previous who chose him. This is the artist's fault who made the design, uh, who put the painting into the collaboration. To me, I feel like it's kind of tainted now. And I'm not saying all the artworks are tainted or anything like that. But if Ten Hundred sees this or any of the artists sees this who was in a collab, um. It's up to you guys what you guys want to do. My personal opinion, uh, I, it's, maybe it sounds harsh, but I would have paint over it and let another artist give it a go, give them a chance because this artist did not took it, uh, did not took the opportunity and do it the right way. Or, or you guys could pick me at the end. I don't have my subscribers. I'm trying my best here. Well, you know, trying to make some good content, but please put me in, coach. Put me in. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, in my opinion, I, I showcase all the evidence out to you guys. It's up to you. It's out of my hands. I'm just bringing it out to the forefront. So I hope this video sets some light on the situation. And if I'm wrong, I'll delete this video or apologize to the artists, to everybody as much as I can. I like I said, I, I try. I'm not. I'm not saying he's fully guilty. I'm just bringing out the evidence of what the viewer brought to me, and I try to bring everything I could and showcase the differences between the art pieces when it was posted one did not post it at all because they made it into a video like a couple months ago but still on, not on their social medias but yeah i try to look through everything everything i could find and yeah so yeah the sad thing that Brown got this big opportunity and then went with more original artwork that's pretty much it and pushed himself further uh let's hope in the future everyone involved in 1000's art collab gives her gives it her all and creates something truly unique and that's pretty much it guys so thank you again for watching the video hit the like subscribe i'll be making my own art challenges very soon guys uh coming very soon like an uh Yu -Gi -Oh art challenge content creator art challenge i'm super excited and uh yeah so much love i'll see you guys on the next one and uh don't be that guy if it turns out to be truly true uh just put yourself out there be the original as much as you can and see you guys next one bye Woo